All right, if you own one of the F-150s from like 2015 to like current, probably have one of these little di diaper pad looking things up underneath the front of your truck that goes, uh, it's kind of like a transmission cover, splash guard cover. Not really sure what its purpose is. I'm sure there's some Ford engineer that has some clue as to what it does, but every time I ask around on the forums or see what other people have said, nobody really knows. Uh, the common consensus seems to think that it might have something to do with uh, fuel economy or possibly catching drips so that, you know, you don't notice them. I, I don't know what's true. All I know is this will not stay on the bottom of the truck. Basically what happens is because it's made out of some sort of fiber type material, it gets soft and it rips. Um, I live down in Florida, rains a lot. This gets real soft and soggy. And as you can see, I have zip tied it. Maybe you can see it over here. But uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, zip ties there where I have zip tied it over and over to the bottom of the truck. These two bolts at the front seem to stay, but uh, I'm gonna try this. This is an OEM splash guard cover for a Raptor. A little bit wider. Let me see if I can find you the uh, part number on it real quick. There you go. Sorry about spinning y'all around, but that is the uh, part number. This is a quick tool and part list for this project. Basically, you need a couple of wrenches, a 13 millimeter and an eight millimeter. The parts listed down below for the splash guard itself and the additional nuts and bolts. Also, one other thing I did not figure out until the very end of the project is that one of the eight millimeter bolts that you are using for this, you're gonna either have to adapt the clip to fit or you're gonna have to use your own nut and bolt. Either way, both answers are good. All right, so we are gonna go underneath the truck now. And what you have, there's an L bracket right here. There is a, another L bracket over here. Look, there's my wonderful zip ties that I was using to hold this thing onto the truck. And then at the front here, there is a couple of little bolts. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove the bolts, reuse them. And then as you can see where the splash guard is, you can see that's tucked in a little bit from the frame rails. It looks like the metal splash guard goes all the way to the outside of the frame rails. So there you go. We're gonna go ahead and remove the L brackets. Look like I might need another bolt. Maybe another one of those little keeper pieces. I don't know what the technical name is for it. It kind of looks like another one might go there. So we will see. I might have to go to the dealer and figure out what that part number is. But that right there is what it's kind of covering. And I don't know what kind of material this is. It kind of looks like plastic. So that's why I kind of want to put another guard on there. I do a lot of highway driving. This truck has 127,000 miles on it. It's a 2019. F-150 crew cab with the uh, 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost on it. Just so you guys have an idea what we're working with here. But because I do a lot of highway driving, I kind of think maybe I should have some sort of guard in case I run something over that bounces around underneath the here. And with my luck, I'll probably run over something that'll somehow damage that. So I think some kind of guard is better than nothing. All right, so real quick, this is a 13 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off on camera so you guys can see what it looks like. And of course there's a twin to it on the other side of the truck. So you have L bracket plus bolt. Wanna keep the 13 millimeter bolt. And then probably need to get another one of these little keeper pieces. All right, time for a quick stop at the Ford dealer. All right, just ran over to the local Ford dealer. As you can see, there's a part numbers right there. Gives you two bolts, two of the little keepers. And uh, because they gave me the part numbers and I'm giving them to you guys, I'm gonna let them get to sale. It ends up costing about $31.13, and that's with, uh, I don't know, 7.5% sales tax. All right, so you take this clip. I guess they call, it, they call it a nut, but it looks like a clip to me. Make sure that the nut looking side is on the inside. And basically, just take it in here. So you push it down into place. Now you got a place for the bolt to actually attach to. You got to go to the other side, do the on the other side. That's the original. This is a new one. All right, up here in the front, smaller ones, eight millimeter. You got two of them. Basically unscrew them from the clip or the, the nut as the dealership called it. And then you can attach the front end too. All right, so here is the end result. Bolt, bolt. And then if we go all the way over here, bolt, bolt. The only thing I changed up was over here so as you can see on this side little 
bolt right here went pretty nicely clip fit um, I did change the way this was set up I actually put this piece on top of the flange right here so I had to move the clip so that it was actually going over both pieces but then on this side what I was finding is that the clip just wasn't going to fit so right here this does not fit real nicely in this general area so what you could do if you wanted to is actually get a nut and a bolt and actually reach in here and put a uh, nut and a bolt through this um, or you can actually trim right here so that this can fit a little bit better so there you go or you know I could trim my nails because I know somebody's going to say something about that but uh yeah there you go so this could either go here if you trim this you have to trim it you have to trim the panel right here or you can just get a nut and a bolt put it right there but you do end up having you know the four big bolts and then nothing here and then this one here and if you look inside of here got pretty decent clearance so it does fit pretty nicely and uh the bonus it's metal Oh, quick side note for you guys wondering, I did end up putting a nut and a bolt in there. You see on both sides, there it is. Boom, done. So if you don't put a nut and bolt in there, it will rattle and make all kinds of crazy noises. And it'll probably drive you crazy when you're going down the road. So come up with your solution and do what you think is right. Thanks for checking out the video. Just understand that I am not a mechanic. I am just a regular Florida man doing Florida man things. So take all advice in this video with a grain of salt and do what you choose. This is more of a how I did it kind of thing. Good luck.